Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A cable is used to support 5 equal and equidistant loads over a span of 45 meters. The span is given as 45 meter. There are 5 equal loads. The loads are equidistant. That means the distance to and from the loads should be same. Let us count the portions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The total span is 45. 45 by 6. We will get 7.5 meter. So the length of each of these is 7.5 meter. Find the length of the cable required and its sectional area. If the safe tensile stress is 140 Newton per millimeter square, the central dip of the cable is 3 meter and the loads are 9 kN each. Determine the tension in the different segments. Now let us find the vertical reactions VA and VB. We know that in this cable we have symmetrical loading so we can easily find the vertical reactions. To find them we have to add all of the loads then we have to divide them by 2. So for VA and VB we will get 22.5 kN. Now let us take a moment about C from the point A and find the horizontal thrust H. We are taking moment about to see because here only we have the dip 3 meter. We do not know other dips. That is why we are taking moment about to see. We are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. And the distance is 45 by 2. We will get 22.5 because it is the center. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For this load, we have to take this distance. This distance is 7.5 plus 7.5. So it will be 15. This load is also acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it is also negative. This is the distance we have to take. This distance is 7.5. The horizontal thrust is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the horizontal thrust it is the perpendicular distance 3. So minus 3h. Finally for the horizontal thrust we will get 101.25 kN. Now let us find the dips y1 and y2. For that we can use the formula beam moment upon the horizontal thrust h. Now let us find y1. First we need to find the beam moment. Up to this section we have only the vertical reaction 22.5. We know that when we calculate the beam moment we should not consider the horizontal thrust. The vertical reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 7.5. We have calculated the horizontal thrust H 101.25. Finally for Y1 we will get 1.67 meter. Now let us find Y2. Up to this section we have the vertical reaction 22.5. And the load 9. The vertical reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. And the distance is 7.5 plus 7.5. So it will be 15. The load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. And the distance is 7.5. Finally for Y2 we will get 2.67 meter. We know that this cable structure is symmetrical. So Y1 and Y4 will be same. 
and y2 and y3 will be same. Now let us name the various points of the cable D, E, C, F and G. Now we are going to find the length of the cable. To find the length of AD, let us take this triangle. In this triangle, this length is 7.5 meter and we know the height 1.67 meter. Now applying Pythagoras theorem, we can find the length of AD. To find the length of DE, let us take this triangle. We need to find this height 2.67 minus 1.67. We will get 1. Then using Pythagoras theorem, we can find length of DE. Now let us find length of EC. We can use this triangle and find the length of EC. We need to find this height. This height is 3 minus 2.67. We will get 0 0.33. Then using Pythagoras theorem, we can find length of EC. Now we are going to find the total length. We know that length of AD and BG should be same. So we have to multiply this with 2. Also we know that length of DE and FG should be same. So we have to multiply this with 2. And finally we know that length of EC and CF should be same. So we have to multiply this with 2. After multiplying and then adding we will get the length of the cable which is 45.51 meter. We have got the length of the cable as 45.51 meter. We know that this cable structure is symmetrical. So we can find the length approximately by using this formula. In this case, we have to assume that this cable is parabolic shape on both of the sides. In this formula, L is 45 and H is 3. So approximately the length of the cable is 45.53 meter. In the question, we have found the length of the cable. Now we have to find the sectional area if the safe tensile stress is 140 Newton per millimeter square. The formula to find the area is T max upon P. T max is the maximum tension. P is the tensile stress given in the question as 140 Newton per millimeter square. The maximum tension will occur in the members AD and in BG because both of them are in the higher level. The tensions in AD and BG will be same because we have symmetrical loading and a symmetrical structure. Let us find the tension in AD. The formula is root of H square plus VA square. We have found H and VA. Let us apply both of them. Finally for T max we will get 103.72 kN. In this formula let us apply T max. But 140 is given in Newton per millimeter square. So we have to convert kN into Newton. So we have to multiply T max with 1000. Finally, for the area, we will get 740.86 mm square. Now, let us determine the tension in the different segments. For AD and GB, we have found the tension already. Anyway, I am going to find it one more time. We know that the tension in DE and GF will be same. And the tension in EC and FC will be same. The formula to find the tension is root of h square plus v square. The horizontal component h will be same for all of the members. It will be equal to the horizontal thrust 101.25 but the vertical component v will be different. Let us see how to find the vertical component v. It is the same procedure as we calculate the shear force in the beams. For AD, the vertical component is the vertical reaction VA 22.5. Let us find the vertical component for DE. 
that is 22.5 minus 9 22.5 minus 9 we will get 13.5 now let us find the vertical component in EC that is 22.5 minus 9 minus 9 22.5 minus 9 minus 9 we will get 4.5 we have found the horizontal components and the vertical components. Now using this formula, we can find the tensions for AD and BG. We have already found the tension. So only for these two, we have to find the tension. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.